disclaimer, or use at your own risk. This video is for informational and entertainment purposes only. I am not recommending that you follow my advice. Any modifications to the products mentioned in this video may void your warranty and may cause the products to fail, resulting in serious injury or even death. If you have a Rad City or looking to get a Rad City and you're hoping to pull a child trailer, a pet trailer, or a cargo trailer, most if not all couplers that uh, comes with these type of trailers are made for 10 millimeter axles. The Rad City has a 12 millimeter axle. So when you go to put this guy on, it's not gonna fit around the axle. Uh, so what I'll show you is how I uh, made this hole bigger so that the coupler, and here's my coupler that I drilled out, will fit over the axle and you can hook up your trailer. So let's get to it. So for tools, what you need is a crescent wrench or a wrench. I'm using a crescent wrench, but it's probably best to use one of these guys here. Um, the problem is that I have only a 5 8 wrench and that doesn't fit over the bolt. Uh, you're gonna need a drill and then you're also gonna need a step drill bit, which is what we'll use to make the hole bigger. So for this guy, um, I'll put a link in the description below, but it is a, let's see, it's a Milwaukee, hopefully you guys can see that, there you go, Milwaukee number one step drill bit, uh, part number 902073, it's a half inch step drill bit. The first step you're going to want to do is take off the bolt to your axle, uh, covering the bolt is this rubber guy here, so you just pop it off. And then you take your wrench, loosen it up, which I already did. And then just take that guy off. And there you go. And your coupler will go right on there. Um, and the reason why you want to do this first is as you're drilling your coupler, periodically you're going to want to come and check to uh, see if it fits. You don't want to take off too much material. So you want to take off a little bit, come back, check drill again a little bit, come back and check until it fits snugly onto your axle. Once you have your bolt off, we can start drilling. Before we drill, I'm just gonna share one tip that I found useful when I was going through this process. So as I mentioned, the coupler is made for 10 millimeter axles. The goal is to get this hole to a 12 millimeter size. So in inches, a 10 millimeter um, is, if I can get this in focus, is 13 30 seconds. 12 millimeters is fifth, around 15 30 seconds. It's not perfect. Um, so the goal is if I put on this fresh coupler, you'll see that it will stop right at 13 30 seconds. And we want the hole big enough so that it actually goes down to 15 30 seconds. I put on the coupler that I drilled out you'll see that it's about it's about right there's 13 30 seconds as it's you know a bigger hole it drops down to that 15 30 second mark so that's kind of a good guideline when you're drilling so to begin the drilling process we're gonna want to put our coupler at the edge of a table or a workbench in this case I'm using my tailgate um, but if you have a workbench with a vise that can hold this in place, that's probably best. Uh, in this case, I'm just using my tailgate, holding this firmly with my left hand, and then I'm gonna use my right hand, take the drill, and start drilling that guy out. So we drilled a little bit. You can see some of the shavings here. Um, you can also see that it's not perfect. There's still some rough edges around. Don't worry, we'll clean that up later. I'll show you how to do that. But uh, let's just take this and let's just check. 
to see where are we here we go let's check we're still a little bit too small so we'll go back we'll shave a little bit more come back check it until we're good all right so as we're going through this process i totally forgot about another tip um, we should probably be drilling it like this rather than like this for the reason being and I'm sure it's shown in the video um, the drill bit is not long enough so this part here is rubbing up against that guy so if we drill like that um, it'll make it much easier Perfect. So we did that light finishing touch um, and yeah, there's no more jagged edges in there. And so let's put this guy on our bike. Let's see, put that on. You can put on the bolt. And then when you're tightening uh, this part up, what you're going to want to do is use one hand to hold this in place and then use your wrench to tighten it up. And then once you get that tightened, put this back on and you're good to go. That's about it.